Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the yearly reading for the sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to get right into this. This is a general reading, so, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do. If love shows up, reverse the roles as needed. You guys, reading is already messing with me. I don't know. It's like you guys are like going back and forth, back and forth. I'm not, I'm not understanding why this is happening to me. So it has to have something to do with the energy. Okay. Um... It's like back and forth, back and forth. Un, undis, uh, what is it called? Um, indecisiveness. It may be a factor this year. Not really sure, but it, this is too weird what's going on. Let's get into this. Let's get some cards for your uh, career. We got the tower and the world. There's going to be some big changes in your career life. Money. We got the king of swords. You're going to be paying attention to it. And the eight of wands, which means you're going to be receiving some messages fast, quick, in a hurry. When it comes to love, there's not a cuffs. Looks like love is coming in, and you're gonna take that leap of faith. Good stuff, Aquarius, and get and get you some uh, get this new love that's coming towards you. Okay. I, I, I forgot I got this thing on. Hopefully, y'all can hear me better. Okay. And we got two cards for family. We got the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you're gonna be worried about something, and um, it's gonna work out. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got the six of swords. Okay. So your life this year is, 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 it looks like it's going to be some changes made, but it's, you're going to end up on a good note. Okay. You may be, be moving. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, excuse me. Spirit, um, for their career, for the Aquarius Collective's career, can we clarify the world and the tower? Two Scorpio energies. Thank you. Yeah. There's definitely going to be some changes. we got the Piscean energy of the moon. It's saying that, that you're, you're definitely going to change jobs this year. You're going down a brand new path. You don't even know exactly what you're going to do or where you're going, but you're changing your job. That's what it, Something's going to happen to make you do that. And it may bring in better money for their finances, spirit. Let's clarify their finances. Why is this king of swords here and the eight of wands? Thank you. Give us more, please. We got the two of swords, the Libra energy. Thank you, Spirit. We got the king of swords and the knight of wands. So when it comes to your money this year, you're really going to be tightening up your reins on your finances. Is what it's looking like. Okay. And you're going to receive some news that's going to come in and it's coming in quick or maybe some new job offers. You're going to be confused. You're not really going to know what to do. But you're being told to just stay, stay, stay in that sword's energy, in your energy. Stay in that sword's energy and move forward. With a lot of passion, you're gonna that money's gonna be coming in, and you're gonna receive some sort of gift. Is what I'm looking at, some sort of gift or blessing, Aquarius, and it's gonna come in. You're being told to pay attention to your finances. It's something that you don't see, but it's it's telling you to just be brave, and continue to push forward, finishing what it is you you're working on. You know your life. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Fool as far as love. Why is this here for Aquarius? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Thank you. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. So it's going to be some sort of surprise. Somebody's coming in. They're being guided by spirit, and they want, and it could be an Aries, but they're coming in, and, and they're going to surprise you. They want... They want a new, they want a relationship with you. They're gonna come in and let you know in no uncertain terms that they want a relationship with you. This is love overflowing and money's good. But this is love. They're gonna be pouring their heart out to you. How they want this. It's gonna surprise the mess out of you, too. Why is the nine of, of swords and the ten of pentacles here for the family dynamic for the Aquarius collective? 
Why is this here, spirit? Why is this nine of swords and ten of pentacles here? You could be suffering some sort of loss this year as far as your, your family goes. I hate to say that, but that's what came out. Let me look at that again. Let me just check that out. Hold on a second. I'm going to double check that nine of swords. Hold on. I know it's all about stress and everything. Yeah, it is. It's death. That's what, that's what I thought it was. And I hate to tell you, but you know, I'm not going to lie to you about these cars. But it's saying that somebody's going to pass in the family. But um, it's going to be some sort of, uh, they're going to leave you, it uh, looks like an inheritance. Hold on a second. We need more, please. It does. It looks like somebody's going to pass away, but they're going to... It looks like somebody's going to pass away, but they're going to leave... They're going to leave you something. Yeah. So the Ten of Pentacles is also <clears throat> family matters. Okay. So somebody's going to pass and the family's going to come together and try to fix this because y'all going to have to struggle to try to, to, to bury this person or something. That's what that's saying. Dog, oh, on it. Somebody could leave somebody something, but this this five of pentacles talks about um, the struggle. That's the struggle card. Finances messed up. You you feel like you're alone in the world and everything, but you're being told um, the, the look at the cups that you do have, the things that, that you may have gotten from this person, whoever they may be, throughout your life. Things that they've instilled in you or something like that. I'm sorry for anyone who's who's, who's lost someone who's going to lose, lose someone this year. It's never it's never easy. And there's no way to even talk about it. So forgive me. But that's what came out. I got to tell you guys. And don't be taking this to heart. Trigger warning. Do not be taking this to heart. You ain't even got to claim that part of the reading. Just know that it's what came out. And um, But with that seven of cups. Yeah, you're going to be heartbroken. Could be a Gemini. Yeah, I, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. So you're gonna have you're gonna suffer some sort of grief this year, um, behind the loss. But it looks like you're gonna receive a blessing to help. Give us more on that, please. Further, further clarify that. I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to be insensitive. Or, you know, no trigger room warning. I'm just telling you what the car is saying. I'm just a messenger. Anything else for that Nine of Swords and that Ten of Pentacles, please? For the Aquarius' family. Yeah, you're going to get some blessings. It, 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 that's what, thank you, Spirit. It's saying that if you, if you, thank you, Spirit. If somebody's going to pass away and you guys are all going to get together and try to uh, come up with the money, you're going to be struggling to get the money. But to be able to bury them, but don't worry that, that you guys are going to be able to get that money. It's going to be a blessing given to you, whether it's through your church, bowling league. Uh, it's something with a lot of people, and they are going to be able, they're going to help you bury your love. Wow. Could be an older gentleman, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, that's coming in, that's going to help with that. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. My goodness, I didn't want to say that. You know I am. Um, the career, the career, the career, we're saying that you're about to change jobs and you're about to go down a whole new path, Spirit. Do you want to add anything from the, uh, 
from the Kipper for their career. For the Aquarius's career. Career. Sound like I couldn't get that out right. My goodness. Thank you. Yeah, higher honor. Yeah. You, 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 something's going to happen. You got some big changes. And the higher honor talks about getting your accolades. You know what I mean? Maybe you've been trying to get a promotion at your job and something's going to happen. That's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the end of that cycle and you're going to go down a whole new path, meaning you could change positions within the club company that you're in. Something big is going to happen and you are going to get your, your position that you've been wanting. Good stuff. There's going to be some increase of some sort. Is what I'm getting from that. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it's going to be a little stressful. But you're going to be just fine. Anything else for the career, Spirit? Yeah, you're going to be a little stressed in the beginning because you're going to have to adjust. But you're going to be fine, Aquarius, okay? As far as their money is concerned, anything from the Kipper Spirit, thank you. Official person, okay? And you see where that landed. It landed right over there on that. Um, yeah, um, it could, you, you can. You could be becoming an official person. Thank you, Spirit. Finances, spirit. Anything for the finances? Yeah. Brand new beginning with that child card. Money's going to be good. See? And, and and I don't know why marriage came out. Let me see why marriage. Let me see what marriage talking about. What number is that? Three. So your finances are going to increase. From you getting married, Aquarius. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my goodness, let me see. If I can get these glasses on. That braid in a way. Okay. Let's see. Marriage. It is time to enter into a relationship in private, in your job, or in other social life matters, okay? Join, join forces with someone. Attract opposites and find agreements. This card also shows all kinds of contracts, Okay. So some sort of new beginning. The marriage card stands for relationship bonds or friendship. It also predicts marriage if, if nearby cards support this, okay? It, it's good for relationships when it's ahead of the uh, significator, okay? Um, but this card can sometimes mean separation. It's surrounded by negative cards, okay? It says there is no significant meaning to the depiction of uh, the cherry blossom, other than to suggest a, a spring wedding, okay, which, which would have been a popular choice, okay? Let's see. This is card 15, okay. Is any kind of close contractual relationships such as a business partnership or joint venture. It can also stand for a, an intimate friendship, okay? More abstractly, it can represent any joining of forces, okay? So you're going to have some sort of new beginning in a business. Uh, maybe you're going to start a business here. And that's why they're, they're telling you just keep moving forward. You're crossing your T's and dotting your I's. This does look like a lot of business. Um, going on, you don't know, but you're but you're 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 going back and forth with yourself about something with that two of swords. I'm telling you that was that was a strong energy. That was a really strong energy when I was doing the shuffle. Okay, before I got on camera, and then the back and forth, and then what I just did when I came here, it was like er, er, back and forth. Something's going on. You're having confusion. Okay, but you're you're being told to cross your t's and dot your eyes. This uh, it's going to be a new partnership that's going to come in. Maybe it's going to help you. Anything else for their finances, Aquarius? I mean, a uh, spirit for the Aquarius from the Kipper. See, and I'm still stuttering on that part. Yeah, some sort of message of concern is going to come in, and that's probably what's going to throw you off. Yeah, and then we got pathways. So you're gonna you it's going to take you about two years. Uh, uh, for this this partnership to come through in this brand new beginning. Until then, you you are being told that you need to uh just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, community is gonna come in and help you. Uh, somebody in your community that could be your church, golf club. I mean, yeah, golf uh golf partners, uh, uh bowling leagues, pool leagues, something like that. Yeah. 
It's going to be a struggle with that poverty card right there. You're going to have some lack. But something is going to come in. Somebody's going to come in. And in that lover's card, you got the lover's and the marriage card. So somebody that you're, you're close with is going to be able to help you this year. Okay? All right? That's what it's saying. Yeah. It may be your, your significant other. Okay? We got the card of thief. Somebody's going to try to take something from you. I don't... Mm. I really don't know why this is doing this because uh, that's the energy of this reading. I got to go back here. Kipper, I mean, um, Spirit, please give them a message for their finances this year. Clarify what's going on here. King of Wands, you're going to be doing what it is that you that you need to do for you. Give us more, please, Spirit. Clarify their finances for this year because I'm confused. All right. We got the King of Wands. Yep. They got the Two of Cups. You're reuniting with somebody from the past that you walked away from. Oh, you reunited from somebody from the past that you, you love this person. And they gonna steal from them? Oh my goodness gracious, hold on. Is that what that is? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm in the wrong book. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. My book. Seven of Swords. Hold on, y'all. It's, it's saying you doing what's right for you, but this attract oh, this attractive person is gonna come back in your life and y'all finna reunite and then they gonna steal from you. Oh, uh, oh, it's gonna be what you wish for. Thank you. It's gonna be what you wish for. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, yeah, they gonna come back in. Deceit, lying, cheating, and dishonesty, but it's also confidence and quarreling. Okay, but it's also a wish card. And what you hope for, so you may have been hoping for this. Or you're gonna run away. We need more. You've been praying for this. So this is what you've been wishing and hoping for. Somebody's about to come back in your life. Can we get some more about this? Is supposed to be about finances. So when this person comes in, thank you, Spirit. Yeah. You're gonna get what you what you wish for, what you hope for, and we got the Ace of Swords and this in the Strength card. So you're gonna get some sort of clarity and cut them off. You're gonna have to be strong during this year. This person is coming. They about to come back. They are coming back. They got a they got a plan. They coming back, Aquarius, and they they gonna make your 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 uh. Let's see, this is how it correlates with the with the Kipper. I don't know how y'all Aquarius would be keeping up with me because y'all readings be dogging the mess out of me and I'll be trying my best to put it together. But that wind energy, y'all know I ain't got no air in my in my chart. So this person gonna come in for this brand new beginning, right? We start back from the beginning. Thank you, spirit. We start back from the beginning, right? In the beginning, oh yeah, that's right. I do got air. I got Libra in my chart. Thank you, spirit, for checking me. That's right, I got Libra in my chart. But y'all air signs still do me wrong. So look. I like how, yeah, y'all heard that candle crackling. Okay, so um, your finances is saying that you need to check your, cross your T's and dot your I's. You're going to be receiving some sort of messages coming in. Look, and it's talking about like like black like love because that's what the eight of wands is. It's about love offers coming in. You're going to be confused because you don't know what you want to do, but you're, you're going you're gonna to put your foot down and say what it is that you want and move forward, right? I can't believe this is happening. So Kipper clarified it. He said, look, they're going to come in. You're going to have a brand new beginning with this person. You may even marry them. Aquarius. One to two years. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Let me turn these around so I can see it. And then you're going to receive some sort of message of concern that's going to come in. From the community. Somebody's going to tell you, could be on your Facebook, your, your, your social media account. Somebody probably going to inbox you and tell you about this person. I don't know. Yeah. And you're going to suffer some sort of loss. Poverty, this is lack. And poverty and, and all that. Or it's going to be some sort of lack of love. Yeah. From this person. And then it's going to say that they're a thief. And then the tarot just confirmed it. Same story. 
You gonna do, you sitting there, you looking good, or this person is fine as all get out. They come in offering you this cup. They, they and it's gonna be a time to celebrate. You're gonna be so happy. And then they're gonna steal something from you. You're gonna find out and get the clarity about that person, and they're telling you you're gonna have to be strong. I cannot believe that came out like that. That was off out of left field. I just can't believe that came out like that. And that's it ain't everybody's story, but I know that's somebody's story because that's short. And spirit strong with me today. We're gonna move on. All right, now that was supposed to be just about finances, and that's telling me that your finances is gonna be be ruined because this person is coming back to, to use you. Oh my gosh, great goodness gracious. <sighs> Throwing me all off now. We we gotta go to the love spirit. Okay, with the love, the love for the year 2024, we got the Knight of Cups and the Fool. Okay, Aries energy of an offer can be coming in or invitation, an invite uh, for a relationship or something. Being guided by spirit could be by a fool, uh, by by uh, Aries, or is telling you that that whole thing right there just messed me up, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that person's crazy. Confirmation. <laughs> the Knight of Cups and the Fool. The, 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 somebody's coming in to offer you love and all that other stuff. And with the Knight of Swords, it's saying to be brave and move forward. Okay? Can we any message for the for the Aquarius Collective? I can't get past the financial stuff right there. I can't get past that. That was crazy. Anything for the Aquarius Collective. My goodness gracious. True love. Okay, so after this whole ordeal or whatever, I don't, I don't know, y'all. Maybe this already happened last year, and they're telling you this is why your finances are gonna be messed up this year because the person that you may or married last year, or the year before last, two years ago, or whatever. They probably telling us the story, and this person is leaving because the, how this this gonna be in the same year as that. So that's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing this was from last year or two years ago when you married this person that y'all done got back together and they done robbed you, took all your money or whatever. And now they're telling you that this year new love is going to be coming in because this is the love that I'm talking about here. New love is going to be coming in. You're being told to take that leap of faith and move forward with a lot of bravery. Don't be scared because what this person did passed your past energy. Don't be afraid because of them because this is true love is what they're telling you. Uh, uh, this is the romance of a lifetime. So don't be scared when his love comes in this year. Thank you, Spirit. My goodness gracious. Aquarius. Oh, whoever reading this is, I've been through the ringer. I'm so sorry. Anything else for the Aquarius as far as love, Spirit? My goodness. Yeah, so they say the one that's coming through this year is the love of your life. Okay, anything from this deck for the Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit, for the love. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right, they landing right on this, scaring me. I miss you. Feeling lost, and it's feeling lost. It's too late to apologize. So is this what this person is going to be saying? I think it is. And that's why Spirit was landing it on there. The person who did you wrong is the one who's saying They're they going to say that they miss you after they took your money and did whatever they did. Oh, my goodness. And it's too late. And they're feeling lost. That's all bad. That's crazy. I don't even know what to do with that for real. Oh, my goodness gracious. You got some true love coming in, though, Aquarius. We already in 24 minutes. Um, What's the tea on this person that's coming back to destroy Aquarius's finances, that, that has the sport? Whoever this energy is that's done destroyed their they finances, who is this person? What's going on with them? Stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight. I don't know your life. Whoever this person is, they 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 a shyster. 
That's crazy. Talking about they did they miss you and all this other stuff. Wow. I don't even know what to do with y'all raising right now. Love communication, no mess. Love messages, no communication. I think all this stuff pertains to this person. It's not even touching the love. I think love is just telling you that something new is coming in and don't you be scared to love again. That's what that is telling you as far as your love for 2024. We're, we're being brought back to this energy. This energy is strong right here. Um, no communication from this energy. Well, this energy that that this energy for Aquarius, what is going on? There is no one else thinking about Thinking about you all day. Wow. I wish you would. I wish you would knock on my door. What the? What in the world is going on? I'm about to get out y'all energy. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> y'all know it is somebody's story. I know it is. But somebody came in and did wrong. To you Aquarius and you being told of something new love coming in there true love so they stepping into the spotlight it says there is no one else I'm thinking about you all day I'm secretly obsessed with you <clears throat> so you did this to them is that what this is telling us <clears throat> And it messed up your money that don't make sense, that don't add up. I'm not even trying to figure this out no more. I am so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. That's what I'm talking about. This person did you dirty. I wish you would knock on my door. They want you to come back so they can ring you out some more. <laughs> Dang. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. No other compares to you. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. You know what? This reading them is <laughs> crazy. And if some, if it resonates with anybody, please leave a comment, like the video, and leave a comment. I want to know is this this guy? This I know it's real. It's somebody's story. That's crazy. We got to move on. We got to move on. We twenty seven minutes in. I don't, I only remember the last time I did a reading this long. Somebody's passing, okay? Yeah, and um, yeah, you're gonna get your blessings. I really don't have nothing that's gonna that can help with that. I don't, I don't really have anything that that goes with that that whole reading right there. But you're gonna have help from the community, that's for sure. Ask a question, of course. We're gonna get out of here. Pause the video if you have to think of them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that somebody's passing, and uh, you guys are gonna get help to put to bury them, to 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 bury them properly and everything. Sorry for anybody who that resonates with. Ask your questions, Aquarius. Questions for the Aquarius collective spirit for the year 2024. This is pertaining to the year 2024. The whole year. Nothing. They probably done clicked off because I know this ain't everybody's reading. My goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because that's crazy. My goodness. What we got over here? Remain positive, please do. And, and, and don't take nothing from this reading. Don't hey, you ain't got to claim none of it. Okay? And within the next few weeks. All right. Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tigers Show. If y'all enjoyed this reading, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you took anything from this reading, you know what I always say on the weekend readings, we're gonna say it for the yearly reading, especially for yours. We're gonna make it a great year on purpose. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks.